so what you think about the wonderful mineral water i mean we know the the power of water and minerals and everything even with the water machine that we use the berkey it filters the water then it adds minerals back into it um but one of the things that you mentioned which was a solid and valid point was about um always having water because they can't shut it off right because you know it's, it's a national park and everything protected by the federal government right. you always have water in comparison to what happened in um flint. yeah flint and stuff like that the right they ain't they ain't gonna do all that here no sir they ain't gonna do it they ain't and, gonna do it and it's too much money here for many reasons they ain't flint, gonna do it for many reasons yeah flint ain't got what's it like the population of Flint is not like hot springs. Yeah. Okay, slow down. Uh, turn at this street here. Could be the next street, but we'll just try this one. <clears throat> you got a new roof. I'm filming. Now this is the property you were telling me about right here? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. It's for sale by owner. Look, another door right here. Maybe that's the back door. I wonder how many units it is. Look like somebody probably lived there. He, well, he just parked there. Some of the windows are out in the back. They got stuff ducked off. You wouldn't even. Like, where are we? No, it's back here. Like, good lord. It's crazy. They be making apartments into anything. They take a house and turn it into two, three, four units. Yeah, a lot of they get these older houses. They take them. They, they do them like that. You wouldn't even. You wouldn't even know. They got a big old. And these houses old. Yes, yes. See that they got somebody. That's a that's a new build, right? No. This right here? Mm-mm. Look like a not a new home wrap, but it don't look like a new build. Look at the foundation. Oh yeah, you are. So what happens is if people with this money, a lot of white people, a lot of uh Hispanic Latino they come in here and they get these houses for dirt cheap or they get it under a good deal they bring these people in like you heard talking about and they just go to work they go to work they, they work together and then before you know it they own two three four five six houses they turn around and sell them or they have their people living in it they bring their people down here to work and then uh you know they have them somewhere to stay so they can charge your rent until they can get on their feet. And then they can ultimately sell the property or you know, there's so many things you can do with the property. What? All right, we just pulled up on this property. This is one that she uh, showed me before. It's for sale by owner. It's been sitting for a while. We're gonna get that number, we're gonna call them and see what they uh, what they talking about. It doesn't look too bad but you never know you never know once you go in there and start seeing what's really going on maybe somebody was working on it working on it before and then they just ran out of money we'll find out we'll find out but this is what i was talking about like if we was able to get this then do we start on this project or do we go to the land where there's nothing there I guess it will all depend on how much it would cost to uh, sit on this property until we were able to uh, to get to it. And also, again, it depends on how much work this property would need because if it doesn't need a lot of work and we can get in it, get in and get out real fast, then obviously that makes more sense.
you got for us? John, and not John the Romanian, said that he is having his people remodel the house right now. Actually, when I walked around the house in the back, you can see lots of um, buckets of mud and paint and stuff like that. So it does look like they're remodeling. On the inside, when you stand behind the house, I don't know if you want to go look, but inside the house, you can see there's something that they're about to install, like back there. He said it's a three bed, three bath. Um, and he said that when he's done, because I'm guessing he's already got his crew, um, he can't pull out of the whatever he started doing. He said it's going to be 165 And I said, well, how much right now before you do all that? He said, no. He said, we're already, we already starting 165 So, And look at this area, 165 Wow, that's all I got to say. So when <laughs> he probably started on it because nobody was, was buying it. That's, you know. Because this has been... That sign has been yeah. in this yard for months. Exactly. Remember when I sent that to you? Months. Oh, yeah. but he said he's about to text me his other properties. He says he has more for sale. That this is not the only one. And I said, because he's about they to tell me. need work or? No, he said there's tenants in it right now. He said it, he said they do need work, but he says that um that he's going to send me the information. Okay. So, so we'll see. Now, this house, 165. Come, I want you to come look. One sixty five, y'all. That's not a terrible area, but one sixty five. That just shows you. We talk about affordable houses. I mean, according to them, that's um, you know, the the range of uh affordable houses. And it's long, so it got some square footage on it. They ain't there working now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look. Look at this. I'm not gonna do all that. Them folks gonna know us like that. Oh. Look at the hot water tank. It's brand new. Yeah, they renovated. I don't like to folks. creep up on folk property. People don't know you and everything. Got a nice size backyard. Yeah, and it's fenced, which is, you know, the plus. You got children like we do. Hello. Hey. So that's the crawl space. Like what we got. So almost got like a basement or whatever? Yeah, crawl space. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. Yep. You guys checking it out, seeing the sign in the yard is here for sale. You oh, okay. Got the phone with you. Oh, okay. Is that a crawl space or a basement? basement. So y'all work for him or y'all? Um... No, we work for him. Strictly or? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, uh, I work for him. He's not the boss. The other guy's the boss, but he does all his rental stuff. Okay. You got a card? You got to do what type of work you do? Uh, we do everything, but uh, it's something called John. We'll come out there and uh, do the most of Okay. All right? All right, appreciate it. You too. Central 8th Street. Yeah, that's the one. So he ain't a contract to contract. Just John pay him good work in. No, we ain't doing that. It doesn't look like a 3 3, so it must be bigger than it looks. Yeah, so I got a new one, newer windows. If the if the if the basement is as big as it may be, then it would add value in regards to upping that price to 165 or whatnot. Huh? But I mean, with all the. I mean, most basements aren't. I would finish it out because you add more value, right, you can charge right, more. Right. But at, you know, at a certain point in time, it you gotta decide what you're gonna do. Cause you don't wanna put too much money into it. And then, you're not gonna get more value for your money. All right, say what you gonna say, Brooke. I ain't gonna say, but you're gonna see it. So this is the um, tiny house my wife was talking about. Right here. Cute house. 
she has her phone up recording to people. Hey. Now we gotta come back from the other angle. But it's hard to get it from this angle because of the tree. And look where we at. We're right behind the racetrack. One of the most famous racetracks in Arkansas because it's been here since 1905, something like that. 1905. Been here a long time. Horse race. So they can cut a hole in the fence and then watch. Psst. Or just stand at the fence and watch. Yeah, but it's barbed wire. It's two oh, fences. Oh, yeah. What we have on the agenda for today? Well, we are going on day three of the project, project deck, project deck work, project get the close, get the deal closed. Um, I got my battery here for the Jag. We got to take that and see what's up with it because the Jag has been down for a while. That's why you, you see me driving the van and driving the uh the beater more because the um jag went down a while a while back i don't know what happened to it. i got to put it in the shop and i've been holding off putting it putting it into the shop until we got closer to uh to getting this uh getting this property done but i was i was driving i was coming home i was pulling in the driveway and it literally just it just shut off and i'm like what in the world so i try to crank it up try to crank it up it would not crank um then i checked it the next day i did a little bit of research online and everything and nothing uh nothing changed on it or whatever so i didn't fool with it it got cold the battery died then I went to go get the battery charged. Then I didn't put the battery in there because I had other stuff going on. So I think the battery died again. And then when I did put the battery in there, it just seemed like it wasn't getting enough juice. It wasn't even turning all the way over. Hopefully it's not the security system because I know sometimes those older vehicles, especially that Jaguar, the security system activate. But when I did have juice, I you know, disabled it and everything like two or three times to make sure but what we're gonna do is we're going to get that battery charged, make sure that battery is good. Because that could be the issue from the beginning. And um, put it in there while we're out. I'm gonna stop by a shop that specializes in um, um, foreign cards and stuff like that. I'm gonna see what their I'm gonna see what their workload is and everything, and then possibly get it towed to the uh, to the shop if they can today. Hopefully they got a tow truck and they can do it. That way I can kind of like time it. Once they tell me what's wrong with it and everything, because there are also some other things I want to get fixed on it. The back shocks for the trunk I want to get that fixed, and um, the sunroof, which they probably have to replace that. I don't know if they have to order or. If they have a local local scrap yard they can get one from, or maybe he can fix what's wrong with it. But my sunroof is uh is leaking. And it's been leaking ever since I bought the vehicle. Yeah, so all uh, my headliner has water stains and I want to make sure I get that fixed. And my my thinking is if I can time it right, I can have the vehicle in the shop, they tell me what's wrong with it, they fix it. Maybe it'll sit, maybe they're like two weeks out. Then that'll be closer to when the property closes. And then once the check clears, we'll use that check to get the, the vehicle out of the shop because this is a um, a company vehicle. Um, so those are repairs that have to be made. That's the vehicle the company, or the nonprofit, provides me right now to be able to do things like this. Um, but we got to do that. And then once we get it out the shop, probably going to send the paint shop because that black, uh, yeah, you know how black is. We ain't got to explain that. And we'll go from there with that vehicle. Um, but we got to go to load. We got to get a gable. You know, that, that top that we were talking about, we got to get that. We got to get three gallons of paint. 
I'm going to go to the local uh, Habitat for Humanity because they had a whole palette of paint and see if they have three gallons of exterior paint, exterior white paint. Hopefully they do for like, you know what I'm saying, $15 or whatever. Instead of, you know what I'm saying, paying, uh, I don't know how much it is at Walmart. I got I got a can in there. I'm going to take a picture of it. That's the exterior paint that I was going to use for underneath there. And it, I'm going to price it. And if it just makes more sense to get it from Walmart, then I get it from Walmart. But I do try to support the uh, local habitat because that's where I got those windows from for a good deal. Just give y'all some inside uh, inside scoops or whatever. But um, yeah, I got to do that. What else we got? What else we got? Um, I know some other things. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and get the day started. And once I start to do more stuff and I remember, then we'll record it. And I'll let you know where we're at, especially on that back deck. So y'all bear with me. Uh, this is the paint I was telling y'all about. Restore them in sure color, exterior paint, and primer, flat. It's, it says $22. And it is going to be used for this right here. Now, the issue that I'm running into right now is it's saying it's out of stock. So, I do have to go to the habitat and hopefully they have three gallons of it. If not, we'll work something out. We're going to get it done. we got to get it done. What a day, what a day, what a day. Been busy, busy, busy. I know for y'all, it's like, yeah, we're just watching. It was just a few seconds ago, but you know how it goes. Um, Got some stuff from Walmart some uh caulk i needed uh little snacks we got the vent for the back they're going to frame it in and make it fit we got three gallons of paint from my local habitat for humanity they were 15 dollars a piece which is pretty much going to beat the cost of what you're going to pay in the store and it's uh, interior, exterior paint. Um, what else do we have? Are we missing something? Oh yeah. We went to the, the shop that I want to take my car to. And they said that <laughs> they really won't be able to get to it until March 22nd. That's a scheduled date. Now they said if I drop it off, they'll probably look at it like next week. And if a person doesn't, um, you know, uh, keep their schedule, then it could move me up. But as far as right now, my car is scheduled to be fixed, like officially. We're going to bring it in. We're going to fix it on March 22nd. Yeah. <laughs> but they stay busy. I guess that's a good thing. But it also, I, I don't know, because they seem pretty solid. They seem pretty solid. From what I've seen, they always have foreign cars out there. And this is over 80 years combined experience. Um, and I want my I want my car to be fixed right. I want my car to be fixed right. How much is it going to cost? That's the question. Because usually when you're dealing with shops like that, you're going to pay. I've already kind of like calculated how much it's going to uh, cost to get it fixed. Hopefully... It stays in that range. If not, then we will get the basics fixed and then we'll get the other stuff fixed later. Like the sunroof is leaking. Um, obviously, it's not cranking, turning over. You know, it was turning over, but it's not cranking. So we got to get that fixed. And I told them to give me a quote on the front shocks. But like I said, it all depends because they come back with something crazy. Like, yeah, the shocks is $1,000 and the labor is $1,000. No, sir. No, sir. Go ahead and get me on the road, get my sunroof fixed, and then we'll take care of the rest. But let me see what's going on back here. I'm going to let y'all check it out because they should be done. They want me to call the inspector out so he can check it. And we can go ahead and get this thing uh, 
thing done. But I don't know what it looks like since they completed it, if it is completed. And you don't either. Let's go. We still got all the uh, debris. He just sent me a text message and said his guys are coming back to uh, clean us up. That's the uh, concrete they laid down. He said they got the form around it. Up. That's where all the concrete was poured in that they filled it in and then that's what he told me he fixed that because I didn't know it was that loose but that's good to know. Fixed up uh, that on the outside right there. Remember how it was uh, all raggedy? I don't think they fixed uh, this side. No, nah, they didn't. That light is still up there. Much better, much better. Let me see how much concrete I got left. They locked it. Take some of that concrete back and get my money. Obviously, we're not going to step on that because that's fresh. So, we're going to do a step over it. Look how wide that is. wider and it's definitely safer Let me get in contact with, make sure I do not step on that. That would be stupid. <laughs> I said I would do it perfectly, but just, you know, you'll forget. Let me call the um, inspector so I can uh, get him out here and make sure everything is good to go. And then I'll give you an update. 